Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a video on a program called AScript. Um, just type in AES script in Google and you get this link. And it's uh, really quite good uh, file encryption. Uh, simple yet effective uh, according to the website. This is the website. And you can see that it's uh, for Windows, Mac and Linux and Java. I've got a Mac machine, and I've got a Windows, and also it's very good uh, to share between the two of them and including um, the third one. Um, all these links here give you more information. There's a user guide, uh, discussion, etc. And I'm going to download this link from here. I'll click on that link rather, and you'll see <coughs> the options for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Java. And the last one here, which is also for Android, which is Crypt for All Light, a free one. They're all free, uh, freeware. And it's uh, for for my Windows 7 machine, I've, I've used this one, 32-bit, uh, uh, to download this file and installed it on my Windows machine, Windows 7. Uh, you can choose what you like um, and on my Mac which is got Mountain Lion I've got this one the first one um, I don't know about power PC but if you've got power PC it's, it's listed here uh, anything um, new nowadays you, you can use this one and also that one installed on my Samsung note which works fine and um, so when, once you click on that you can download it here and once you click on that you can download it in the Mac machine. You can see I've got a virtual, uh, I'll just minimize the window, I've got Windows 7 here on a virtual machine and on the right here I've got the Mac uh, file which looks like a padlock symbol once you uh, installed it. When you download it in Windows you get a zip file which you extract uh, in one of the Pro, uh, ex file extractors like 7-zip or WinZip or WinRAR and then you uh, it creates a folder like so so you've got the setup file install and setup folder and in the install notes it says uh, inside this zip file are two ex executables I don't know if you can see that I'll just increase the size and to install a script first try to install using the a script missed missy uh, sorry msi file and uh, that should work on windows 7 and windows 8 systems if you do get an error uh, they're saying that uh, you, you can then run the s setup file so uh, basically run this file that one to install it on windows 7 and 8 if you've got older versions well you could try uh, xp uh, it works on my xp laptop <clears throat> didn't have any problems. If you do have a problem then run the setup file that should clear it. Um, once you um, installed it on the Windows machine it looks like um, if I just show you this file here on any file when you right click you get this AESC encrypt uh, in the shell in the drop down menu and all you do is just uh, click on that and then uh, it gives you these two options and you can I'm just going to type it test here for this exercise and test on on just a second to confirm click OK and then it creates the a crypt folder which is no good to anyone so then you can delete this one if I delete that one uh, <coughs> excuse me you're left with the uh, the file now you can e you can double click that because you've got the program installed and then and type in your password which is test and then it opens the uh, the file uh, read the uh, user guide because if you've got another file if it, 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 like for example this is open now if I open it again it will say error which is quite good because the the output file exists. So, but read up on the user guide in case you don't count any problems. But I've been using it for a while, I have no issues. So once you've encrypted the file, uh, you know, you can then delete the file here. 
Okay, so when you've done that, it doesn't do folders. If you right click on that, it doesn't do folders, but you can do files and you can also do several. So if I open the folder and do that and right click on it, you can then encrypt all of them. So if I do test, and it creates the uh, files. Then the ones that are highlighted, all you do is right click on them and delete them. That's if you want to do that. And then you can just do select all or individually and then decrypt after right clicking as I showed you. Then test for this exercise and it opens all of them. So it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, well, I'm going to delete the these ones for now <clears throat> now go back to that one now copy this into a shared folder on my Mac machine which is here there we are test and I'll put it in there and there it is now I created the password in the Windows environment. Now, if I go across to the test folder there in, in the uh, Mac machine, okay, there it is. All right. Now, if I double click it on the Mac machine, it opens the application and asks for the password. So if I type in test, and voila, and you'll get it there as well. So it's really good because you can then use it on a Mac machine and a Windows. And on top of that, the same encrypted f file, you can then upload to uh, an Android Samsung Note I've got uh, that allows you to decrypt it with that crypt for all program. So really good for, uh, you know, keeping files encrypted on uh, both environments. Um, so yeah, if I just refresh that, you can see it'll turn up there. So brilliant. I um, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.